What's up you guys, this is Jay Younger 2 back with another video and today I'm going to be discussing the truth about Hassan Whiteside. Enjoy! Hassan of Whiteside's journey and story to make it to the NBA was a long one. From being expected to be a lottery pick, but due to problems with his attitude and many teams really didn't want to take a chance on him. Hassan was taken in the second round with a 33rd pick by the Sacramento Kings in the 2010 NBA draft. He was immediately sent to the Kings D-League team and he suffered a knee injury, which caused him to miss the first season and he only played in one game. Once he came back, he really didn't have the right mentality and his rookie year especially. His mentality was unlike many other players where some guys were grinding their butt off to make it to the NBA. His mentality was how can I get out of the D-League as fast as possible? And that caused him many problems, especially earlier on in his NBA career. He was the first player ever in the D-League to be recalled back to the Sacramento Kings, but he was immediately cut by the Sacramento Kings and he went it on to go play for the Houston Rockets D-League team winning the D-League championship and then he went on to the Chinese Basketball League to win a championship there and he also won the finals MVP and many other great accolades in China. Whiteside's journey seemed to be going down a pretty decent path so good that he signed with the Memphis Grizzlies but he was eventually cut just one month later on the team. But it wasn't until he signed with the Iowa Energy D-League team that Whiteside's career would be destined for change. As I said before, Whiteside had many problems with his attitude and many more people were rubbed the wrong way about it. But head coach Bob Donwell Jr. of the Iowa Energy didn't care about Whiteside's past. He just wanted him to work hard and he'll earn his minutes. And that's exactly what he said. And for Whiteside, this was a fresh start for him since college. People were perceiving him the wrong way. And many people had a bad rap about him. But going into this situation with Iowa Energy, this was basically like a restart for Whiteside and to really show the true potential that he had. The day that changed everything. On November 24th, 2014 Hassan Whiteside after being picked in the second round having a bad reputation suffering from a knee injury getting sent to the development league getting cut going overseas playing for a few D-League teams he finally got his opportunity by getting signed by the Miami Heat who needed another big man and Hassan Whiteside's amazing ability to block shots and get solid rebounds made him a perfect option for the Miami Heat team he actually did get recalled to the G League on December 13th, but he was immediately put back two days later. Whiteside surprised everybody coming off the bench and making an immediate impact for this Miami Heat team with his amazing rebounding, his shot blocking, and he could really dominate down low and get easy buckets, shooting very efficiently from the field. On January 4th, 2015, he recorded his first career double-double with 11 points, 10 rebounds, and 5 blocks in a 88-84 win over the Brooklyn Nets. This was just the beginning. The journey. The journey was a long one for him, but Whiteside took advantage of his new opportunity with the Miami Heat. He was coming off the bench, but he was already making a name for himself. Who can't forget when he said, I'm just trying to get my 2K rating up. And in that game, he had 14 points, 12 blocks, which was a franchise record and a season high from a player. And he did it all in 24 minutes. That was really the crazy part about him is that, that he was doing these things off the bench at really a fast rate that if it became a starter, you would be like, whoa, what is this dude really capable of doing? But that season, Whiteside averaged 11.8 points over 10 rebounds, and he finished third in most improved player voting. And in 2016, things got even better. He led the league in blocked shots, and he made second team all defense. He also led the league in rebounds that season as well. This man showed definitely now that he was a household name, and he was really a borderline all-star that season. 
He averaged 17 points, 14 rebounds, 3 blocks. But really, that was the last time we would ever see Whiteside average those type of numbers for a while. That offseason, the Miami Heat gave Whiteside a four-year, $98 million contract extension. And at the time, he was really worth every penny because Miami Heat saw that he had the potential. And especially if he could grow and get even better each season from that point on, this man could really be the face of this franchise. constant the heat as i said gave Whiteside this contract because they thought that he would get better from that point on in 2016 he was a borderline all-star player but from that point on he remained constant he had a few injuries over the years not to mention last night and in the 2017 playoffs against the 76ers Whiteside played terrible against it and beat and if you recall they had a feud and Whiteside definitely did not live up to that he was never really engaged in games either, despite him showing that just last season or how dominant of a player he was. But he also had problems with the locker room and the organization overall. He was fine by the Heat for expressing his frustration and role for the team. He never really improved on the Heat from that point on. And with more teams using small ball lines, the white side game really wasn't going to have a big impact. He was an old school center. He could rim protect, rebound, block shots. But his perimeter defense was terrible. He never really expanded his game. And with the addition of Bam out of bio on the 2017 NBA draft, the Miami Heat were already about to pull the trigger. His minutes were already dropping. He lost his starting spot eventually to Bam out of bio. And his frustrations with the Miami Heat were only growing. It was definitely a time for a new change of scenery for Whiteside. And on July 1st, 2019, the Heat trade him to the Blazers for Maurice Harkless and Myers Leonard. This was the big trade that also got Jimmy Buckets to the Miami Heat. The Blazers needed Whiteside to really fill in for Nurkic when he went down for injury and he had a pretty decent year. He averaged 15 points, 3 blocks, and 13.5 rebounds. Pretty solid numbers, but he's still not the same player he could have been. To be honest, he will probably finish his career as just a solid backup center. He showed a lot of promise, but the truth is Hassan never really stayed hungry. Once he got the money he deserved, he just settled. He never really tried to improve. He could have been an all-star. He could have been one of the league's best upcoming centers. And he showed that promise. But he remained constant. Now I can see Whiteside just as being an average center at best. Especially the way the game is played now. He's still somewhat valued because of his pretty solid rim protection still and his rebounding abilities but his game never really fit in the modern nba he's just another clint capella andre drummond rudy gobert type player one thing i can say for sure now is that he's definitely not going to get some big contract now i can i feel like Whiteside is best at just going on a championship caliber team and coming off the bench or even starting and just playing his role for the team but really he never was really a mature player and even once he got the contract he never tried to really improve on his game he had the potential to be a really solid player but he never lived up to it and he never wanted to it seemed like it not to mention that but also injuries is really hold him back from as well as being a pretty solid player but yeah man Hassan Whiteside definitely had the potential but sadly things never worked out I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more basketball videos. I make two basketball videos a week or just whenever I feel like making a video, I'll make it. But I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.